I want you to keep in mind to drop expectations of what your life should be, of what things, nights, days, routines should look like. That is not what life is about. Life is about feeling, it's about experiencing. Some days are harder than others and that's okay. You are doing amazing with what you have, with where you are, and don't let anything or anyone tell you otherwise. This, my hair like this. this look back guys, this is a look right here. Mom, good, I put my hair like this. This is a look. We're gonna do a, a, a small mindfulness moment here right now. What an afternoon, y'all. It is 5.50 on a Thursday. Bye. And I am got my coconut wait, water in the bathroom with me. What? Mom, we put them right here so, so, I, so I can show them how I dance? Sure. Okay. I can absolutely do that. Okay. Today, I'm doing my best. <laughs> I do my pants. But I'm, I'm doing my best too, Lila. I'm doing my best too. No, you're not. <laughs> Hi guys, missed you all so much. I have been, ooh, don't wanna get this on my child. Today, I'm like trying this new little routine. You know, we don't have a routine because it's been a day and I realized that if I wasn't going to put myself first at some point, um, I would probably go for the rest of the night feeling on edge and really just like not in a good place. There are such good days and then there are such hard days and it's really just like dependent on my state of mind and how I'm doing and everything. Just a little update of where we are. I am eight weeks postpartum. Normal life is starting to kind of come back, come back to us. Refining our work, especially newly postpartum, going back into the world is really important because we're not the same that we were pre-birth or even pre-pregnancy. There are a lot of changes that happen. So for me, I am trying to take some of my own advice and move slowly during this time and be really intentional with my time and with what I want to do. So I'm really obsessed with the Sally baby wrap. It's been really convenient for these newborn days where he's still in this newborn hold and um, super cozy and comfy. So it's been super convenient. I put it on probably at least once every couple days and get a few hours per day when I do wear it out of it because he just loves it. He'll sleep in it for like up to two hours. So normally like tonight on a night like this where it's been a little bit crazy, um, I prefer to wear him in the early evening and it helps us get like a little start on dinner and just a start on things um, because we experience the witching hour. And I'll get into that a little bit later. So let's talk about the infamous witching hour. The witching hour is a fussy period for newborn babies and can last from a few minutes to a few hours. It typically starts in the early evening and wraps up when baby gets to sleep. Some things that can be helpful are baby wearing before or after dinner time, taking an evening walk can be helpful, and long baths are a must if your baby likes baths. We'll typically start our bath around 7, 7.30, so we're all super comfortable and ready to just begin our bedtime routine right after.
I know I haven't shown Lila much in this video and one, it's intentional for her privacy, but two, she's also just coming along the ride with us. She's doing so good with being a big sister. One of the ways we're trying to support her is to get as much one-on-one -on -one time as possible. If Miles goes down earlier, we'll take out a game that Lila really wanted to play that day that we couldn't get to, or we'll read a book and cuddle on the couch, and we'll just enjoy those last moments of the day together. What a night it's been. It's 10.30. The last hour has just consisted of this dance between bedrooms. One child waking up, the other child going to sleep, the other child waking up, the other child going to sleep. Normally at this time I'm just relaxing and I typically go to bed by 11 o'clock. In my first six weeks postpartum I was pumping before bed and honestly I really enjoyed pumping before bed and right when I woke up in the morning but since six weeks I've kind of slacked off a little bit. I don't pump as much and that's for a few reasons. I have a really small freezer so if and when we get a deep freezer I may start pumping more religiously again and the second reason is that um, miles isn't on bottles yet if there's anything i learned about breastfeeding and about this postpartum time it's to really just be flexible with expectations and to just try to go with the flow as much as possible although really really hard sometimes and super testing to my patients um, that's probably the best thing that I can do for myself and the best advice I can give is to just try to be flexible. Everything is always different every single day. Thank you guys so much for being here and here's a reminder to love it all appreciate the good the hard the easy the challenge the beautiful take in all you can and learn from the rest <laughs>